entre les trois enfants. Yep. Thank you. Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. One, uh, <laughs> I took this out to a customer who is a huge fan of your wines, and she opened it up and immediately was like, oh, yeah, I'll buy it all. How much do you have? I want all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to why, why? Yeah. Why, 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 does, why was she like that? She just, she loved the aroma, yeah. the color. She, she's always interested in something a bit different. So this kind of blend uh, attracts her as well. Yeah. You she's, would, you'd love next time, mm, next time when you can travel time. again. It also, this wine can take some quite spicy foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She she does a great job. She, she, sorry, I was just going to say the lady that we were talking about. She does a great job. She does really unique tasting notes uh, in there, but it makes it really accessible to to people. And she sells so much different wine because people will just trust her, believe in in what she's what she's mm. offering. Mm um and they'll they'll take a risk when they eat in her restaurant and uh yeah she goes through a lot of wine for a very very small place yeah, yeah. i'm saying it sits 24 people <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, right. oh, how wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so it's got quite a lot of color mm -hmm. yes. I think that comes from the skin fermented um the virch fermenter that is in there but also some of the musket and uh, to me, it's just like when you've got candles like this and you look at it in the candle. It's so light, bright. It's, just, it's yeah. a twinkle to your eye. Yeah. And it's kind of um, spicy as well as being floral. And it's kind of it's got a texture like satin, but also a finish like silk. So I kind of. It's, it's but so much here in New Zealand, again, the. I'm sorry. There's like so much going on in the in the nose already. Um, can't stop sort of taking it and just sniffing it. You've got the so. Gewürztraminer, yeah, you've got the yeah. Gewürztraminer, which is that very floral. Yeah. And the musket sort of in the middle, and then you've got the reasoning mm -hmm. with the acidity and the structure at the back. And then finishing dry. Yeah. Super clean in the in the finish. It's just mm, wow. Again, that was sort of I would imagine quite good with crab. What's that gorgeous crab place that we went to once? Crab. They under do the, the chili crabs under the bridge crab. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. under the bridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Can we go there again when we free? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please come back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would be perfect with spicy food, mm. Thai food. Yeah. Mm. Do you have sweet potatoes? Sweet mm -hmm. potatoes? Yes. And that you make into a, like a, um, a mash or a cake? Yes, you do. No, oh, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I just think with a sweet potato, this is beautiful. Probably mm. like um, mm. or turnip or, y or the yeah. yam the, right, um, as well. What's that Lobaco. one called? Lobaco yeah. or? Yeah, one Lobaco. of the dim sum. Yeah, reddish cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one of the dim sum. The chestnut used, cake. Um, yeah, chestnut turnip. Chestnut, chestnut cake, chestnut. yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's a little round one, huh? No. Chestnut mm. cake. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Can you write that down next time we're in Hong Kong? Chestnut cake. <laughs> yeah. But very, a very drinkable wine. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. eminently drinkable wine. Yeah, I just with these with the rosé and this wine, Les Trois Enfants. I just went through your website and I thought, mm, what's here? Okay, I want these. I just yeah. read the description and said, yep, yeah, let's take these. <laughs> and the boys were like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are going uh, to have more, more because I've got a few yeah, clients as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I was really pleased because knowing the food that you have, I could see this wine sitting really quite interesting in some of the restaurants and the mm. spiciness of the food, the aromatics and the balance of it. Um, so I was wrapped when you took it. Mm. 
And whenever anyone asks us for French wine, we just give them this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like French, but better. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sell it all because we want to drink a few glasses or a few bottles with you when we come. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Don't worry. <laughs> right, shall we move on? Yep. Yes, sure. sir. Sorry, quick question. 2017, that's still current vintage? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, so you do age it for a little bit? Yes. Yeah, just for that. Because the Gewurz demeanor is almost so much, you get so much more depth in it with a little bit of age on it. Okay. And um, it's sort of just, I mean, like now it's just, a wine to you just want to drink because it's now really aged, it's got lovely colour, and it's just a yeah, mm. beautiful wine to consume. But we're not sure that we can keep making the course off on because, um, again, it's a little bit wine before it's time in New Zealand for the New Zealand market. Uh, in that instance, I mean that people are not used to these co fermentations. This is again uh, like the rose co fermentation of all these three varieties. Yeah, wow. And again, like in the Biama as well. Mm. Mm. We'll take it. We'll take yeah, it. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> 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 uh, 